morning and may God's blessings be upon all you today. The message of the gospel. Let God be God. Do not impose your standards on Him. He is free to do as He wishes with His graces, with His money, according uh, just like the landowner. So is God just? You work eight hours? Same weights as people who work for one hour. That's at the point of God's justice, according to St. Teresa of Avila. This is what she said. God will fill everyone according to their capacity. When you are in heaven, you will be filled. Siksik, liglig, umaapaw, yan yung sabi ng mga ilsida. You will be filled according to your capacity. So, there are saints. Their capacity for God might be as deep as the Pacific Ocean. They will be filled. There are some whose capacity will be like a big lake. They will also be filled. Some have a capacity, maybe just a big tank of water, or maybe a single drum. Maybe many of us, just one cup. We will all be filled. So, according to St. Teresa of Avila, your problem while you are still on earth is to enlarge the capacity of your being so that you will be filled according to that capacity. So that's our problem now. That's why we are here at Mass. That's why we pray. That's why we do Bible study. That's why we feed the hungry children. That will increase those activities will increase our capacity for infinite truth, beauty, and goodness. So that's our problem. That's why we are praying here today. Increase our capacity for God. So how do we do that? You kneel, you sit down, you walk. You kneel. Strive to arrive at deeper forms of prayer. Do not be contented with just your rosary or your novenas. That's not the teaching of the church. Teaching of the church or St. Teresa of Avila is that there are seven interior castles that you journey until you reach the unitive stage, my purgative stage and prayer, my contemplative stage and prayer, my unitive stage and prayer, when you will be like St. Paul saying, I live now, not I, but God lives in me. Very few of us can reach that. But we strive because that will help increase our capacity for God when we enlarge our hearts taking away all pride and envy and uh, gluttony and lust and uh, avarice. And then, our capacity will increase. The second phase, of course, they converge, kneeling, sitting down, and walking. They converge. But sitting down means The heart of prayer, the mind seeking understanding. Fides, querens, intellectu. That is also a very good way to increase our capacity for God. Increasing, widening our understanding of God's word and the teaching of the church. So you have to sit down, do Bible study. You have to sit down listen to wise people talk to you about uh, God and about his, his design for the kingdom of heaven to come. And the third is you walk. You seek out the poor, the hungry, the thirsty, spiritual and corporal works of mercy according to the teaching of the church. You do good to others. 
So you kneel, arrive at deeper forms of prayer, you sit down, arrive at a deeper understanding of the faith, and then you walk and do good to others, especially working for justice and peace. The church says feeding programs are only emergency programs. We should build our society according to the image and likeness of the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven is characterized by shalom. We should work for shalom. What is the summary of shalom? Justice, peace, and the integrity of creation. Dom Helder Camara, Cardinal from Brazil, said, When I fed the hungry children, they called me a saint. When I asked, what is the reason why there are so many hungry children, they called me a communist, according to him. So we are weary. We do not like to touch unjust structures. Maybe because we are part of it also. But it's our job. You walk, not only to feed the hungry, but to find out why children are hungry and to do something so that they will not be hungry anymore. You try to find out why children, a lot of them, have cancer. Philippine Children's Medical Center, there's a big cancer ward. Only for children. They are very small. They already lose their hair through chemotherapy. I went to PGH. There's also a lot of children suffering from cancer. What is the reason? One of the greatest reasons is pollution. And then we are feeding the children food that has chemical fertilizer, toxic, and pesticides. You have to ask. That will increase your capacity for infinite truth, beauty, and goodness. So during this Mass, we have only one desire. We have a major intention. We pray for all the other things, for the general intercession. But our intention during this Mass is to ask God to increase our capacity for infinite truth, beauty, and goodness increase our capacity for the love of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And, the end, and in the end, the message remains the same. Let God be God.